Hello amazing followers and fellow ardent Celtic fans. It is with immense excitement and a heart full of gratitude that I am here today to embark on a new journey. Like many of you, my affinity for the world of football runs deep, and my unwavering love for the sport has brought me to a pivotal moment that I am thrilled to share with you all. Comment, share and leave your like to strengthen the channel. Hotter saw its future in football become uncertain after a planned loan to Al Etifak, under the management of Steven Gerrard, did not materialize at the last moment due to bureaucratic issues. The former Celtic star has been left off the list of registered players by his new club Al Ittihad due to restrictions on the number of foreigners allowed in the squad. It is the latest setback for the Portuguese winger who has had a turbulent start in Saudi Arabia following his impressive £25 million move from Celtic in the summer. However, he was offered a buyout opportunity this week by new club Steven Gerrard, who was his former manager at Rangers. The transfer deadline in Saudi Arabia was about to end on Thursday. However, it was reported that both clubs left the deal to the last minute, with a deal being reached between the parties and the player just 30 minutes before the deadline. Paperwork and bureaucratic issues could not be completed in time, leaving Hotter in a state of temporary uncertainty. Hotter's planned loan would have involved Al Etifak covering his wages, and he would have been joined by other players such as Scottish defender Jack Hendry, former Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson and former Everton star Damari Gray. However, he now faces an indefinite future after playing just 133 minutes for Al Etihad this season. We've previously reported on how he is in danger of being left out of league fixtures, following the club's significant outlay on signing a star player from one of Rangers' Europa League rivals. Italian international Luis Felipe also arrived too late to join Betis ahead of their Europa League clash at Ibrox. While there have been ongoing discussions about whether Mo Salah could eventually be persuaded to join Al Ittihad, there are currently no developments in that regard. Felipe's arrival alone is bad news for the former Celtic player, according to reports out of Saudi Arabia. Haktan Ulnajo, a sports journalist from Al Riyadh with previously 300,000 followers on Twitter, now claims that Hotter will not be part of Alitihad's roster of professional players in the league under the new system. Thank you.